Hey, my name is Mark. I'm a developer advocate from Prisma, and today I'm excited to announce that Prisma Postgres is entering early access. What is Prisma Postgres? Well, it's a hosted version of Postgres from Prisma that integrates into all of our other products. You can use it with the ORM, Prisma Accelerate, and Prisma Pulse, and it has a generous free tier for you to be able to create any of your ideas. We wanted to make databases as simple as creating a Notion document. We wanted them to be there when you needed them, not be there when you don't and all along having zero cold starts. Prisma Postgres is built on top of some really unique technology. It's built on bare metal using unikernels and micro VMs. If you're interested in learning more about the technology behind Prisma Postgres, we dive deep into the infrastructure in our release blog. You can find that link below. By the end of this video, you'll know how to get started with Prisma Postgres and integrate it into all of your projects. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and set up Prism Postgres. It's actually really easy. All you have to do is go to console.prisma.io and log in. If it's your first time logging in, you'll be met with this screen, which is essentially your starting point for the Prisma data platform. Here you'll be able to select Prisma Postgres along with all of our other products in case you do already have a database. If you're not a new user and you already have a workspace, you've already been using our products, You'll want to click this new project button underneath your workspace and you'll get brought to the exact same space where you can go ahead and get started with Prisma Postgres. So let's do this. Let's set up Prisma Postgres. The beauty of what we're about to do is that not only do we have a database, we also have a database that is configured to work out of the box with Prisma Accelerate and Prisma Pulse. So I went ahead and clicked that get started button and now I'm down here to select a region. Currently in early access, we only have three regions available, but we'll be adding more throughout early access all the way up to general availability. If you wanna be notified whenever a new region is available, you can click this notify me button and you'll get an email whenever a new region becomes available. We'll go ahead and select USDs. I'm gonna come down here, click create database. And within a matter of seconds and about three clicks, we're going to have a database ready for us. Right now, what it's doing is it's building out the database. It's installing Prisma Accelerate and setting up Prisma Pulse. And within seconds, we have a database. So what's next? Well, this is where you would integrate this into your project. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use an example project that we put together that shows off everything that Prisma Postgres can do. It shows you how to run a query on the database, opens up Prisma Studio, allows you to see how caching is working, and then also allows you to see how Prisma Pulse works. We're gonna go ahead and copy this command out and go over to our terminal. Inside of our terminal, we'll paste it in. And what this is do is gonna go out to our Prisma examples repository and grab the specific template that we want. We want to automatically install our packages. We're going to use PNPM and we want to name our project Prisma Postgres. It's going to go ahead and download and extract all the files and install all the dependencies we need. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and CD into Prisma Postgres and then we'll open it up in Visual Studio Code. So inside of this project, we have our Prisma folder with a schema file already created for you. This is just based on our normal getting started guide that we have in our documentation. We have a source folder with three individual scripts, one to test out caching, one to test out queries, and one to test out real time from Pulse. All of these are going to be called within our package.json file via these scripts. And when you're doing our onboarding experience, you'll we'll be doing this. One thing I want you to keep in mind when you're setting this up yourself is to utilize these examples as a way to implement these features inside of your own application. So if you just want to be able to run queries, this is a good example of how to do so. If you want to be able to have caching enabled, this is a good example of how to do so. If you want real time enabled so you can get those events from your database, this is a good example of how to do so as well. Next thing we have to do is implement our environment variables. So what we do is we generate a database URL and a pulse API key. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then come back into our project and in our environment file, I'll go ahead and paste this in. I'll save it. And then I'm going to rename this example into the normal environment file. Next, we wanna make sure we get a migration set up. We want our database to be in sync with our schema file. So let's go ahead and go back to our terminal and run an npx prisma migrate dev name init. And this basically initializes our database with the structure of our schema file. So we'll have a user table and a post table with these specific fields inside of it. All right, now that that's set up, we can come in here and we can test our database. So we have our schema file all, all set up and we wanna fill our database with some data. What we're gonna be running essentially is inside of our package.json, like I said before, we have this query script. Inside of our source folder, we have a queries file. And this file is gonna go ahead and create a bunch of data for us in our database. 
So let's run that. We're gonna go back into our terminal and we'll type npm run queries and it will go ahead and create a bunch of data for us. Now, how can we check this? How can we make sure the data actually got created? Well, that's what this next step is. We're gonna go ahead and start up Prisma Studio. Prisma Studio is our visual interface for a database. And you can use this with any database, not just Prisma Postgres, but it's really great because now we can come in here and we can see all the posts that were created. We can come and we can see all the users that were created and we can edit and manage our data from right here. Next, we wanna to test to make sure our caching is working. So we're gonna do npm run caching, which again will run this caching file, which essentially tests that the caching works. We have it set up to SWR 30 and TTL for 60. And this is gonna go ahead and spit out the elapsed time based on caching. So what we should see here is the first query is gonna be a little bit slower because it's not gonna be cached. And then the subsequent queries should be a lot faster because they will be cached. Let's go ahead and run back to our terminal here. And I'm gonna create a new tab so that way Prisma Studio is still running in the background. We'll go ahead and run npm run caching. And as you can see, this took around 536 milliseconds for this first query, but now this query is cached. So if I run this again, it's gonna be 162 milliseconds, which is great. And this is all just built into Prisma Postgres. This is all just part of the Prisma data platform now. Prisma Accelerate works with Prisma Postgres and it's wonderful. All right, great. Let's go ahead and test our real time. So what this means is we're gonna use Prisma Pulse to listen to our database for any changes. And then we're gonna spit out those changes whenever they happen, as soon as they happen. So to do this, we have a file here, again, realtime.ts, that is gonna be listening to the user table. Whenever a change is made in the user table, it will console log that event, right? And this is really cool. And I really am excited to see people build things with Pulse now that Prisma Postgres is there and is like, really easy setup to get working with Prisma Pulse. So we're gonna run npm run real time. This is gonna open up a connection and it's gonna wait for an event on a user table. By the way, this warning here, this Prisma generate no engine, this is because we're not in production, so we don't wanna use no engine. But this is letting us know, hey, you're running Prisma Accelerate, make sure you're running no engine when you run generate. But we are listening for a user table event now. Let's go ahead and go back to Prisma Studio and we're in our user table, and we're gonna change Bob's name to Bobby. We're gonna add a Y here, hit enter, save, and then if I'm quick, I'm not quick enough, there's no pulse is faster. As you can see, we received an event, action update, the user was updated to name Bobby. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Setting up a database with Prisma Postgres is really that easy. We really hope you enjoy Prisma Postgres, and don't hesitate to share feedback with us. You can message us on Discord or on Twitter, and we'll be there to help. Until next time, I'm Mark. From everybody at Prisma, keep on making great things.